<laughs> okay, let's start this episode. Oh, just a second, I forgot my water. It's right there. All right, now we are talking, now we can start this. So the topic for... My chair is going left and right. The topic for today's episode, you already read the title, is how to find the proper photos for your composites, for your photo manipulations. That's the ultimate question. Okay, so how to find the proper photos. That's probably the most asked questions that I got from you guys. And the straight answer is, it's not easy at all. There are basically two ways how you can search for photos, how you can gather all the photos for your composite. First, that I like the most is to take your own photos and to make your own 3D elements and to do everything by yourself, then you will be sure that everything will fit, fit nicely and you will get what you basically imagine because you are the maker of all the elements there. But that can be tricky for so many reasons. First of all, maybe you don't have your camera, maybe you don't know how to take photos and how to use lights and how to do all those things, how to um, maybe direct the model and there's so many things involved there. But if you don't know that and you don't have the equipment, etc., the second way is just to go online, search for some free stock websites or go to a paid stop stock websites. It's the same procedure. You need to search for proper photos. And that can be oh, so pain in the ass. If you did it, you know it. I will now tell you a procedure how I basically do it for making the tutorials for you guys. So to make a photo manipulation tutorial, Usually, I'm searching for some free stock photos that I can give you guys. If I go to some pay stock website, I don't have any rights to give you those photos. I pay for that and just I can use it. So, in order to give you guys the files, in order you to be able to practice, I'm going to Pixabay, Unsplash.com or Pexels.com. Basically, those three websites are the most used by, by me and uh, I'm just searching for photos. Before that, I need to have an idea what I want to create in today's tutorial, what I want to teach you guys, what is the point of photo manipulation, etc. So when I make the idea, when I have the idea, then I try to find the background, try to find the photo of the person, of the animals, or all the elements that I want to uh, combine together to create a photo manipulation. And then we have a problem. I'm searching on one website and for example, I have five images to find to, to make a photo manipulation or six, seven, doesn't matter, let's say five. And I go to pixabay.com, searching, 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 I find just one, then Unsplash, I find another one, maybe Pexels, I find another one. And I spend maybe half an hour or one hour searching for these elements. But I cannot find all other, all other uh, two photos, so I cannot find all five photos. And that's, that's so tedious, that's so you had one to explode. Why? Because now you need to find the other two photos to complete the story and then you're searching and searching and searching and you can spend two more hours searching for that or three more hours if you're really persistent. And unfortunately, if you cannot find it, then uh, it's really bad feeling, but then you need to change the idea. You trash this idea, throw it into a trash can and then search for another idea. Okay, you get another idea. Let's find other photos. Same problem. You can find two of three photos or seven of ten or whatever, but you cannot find all the photos that you need for that photo manipulation, that story that you imagine. Again, new idea. Same thing, new idea. And then you can change the ideas. Change the ideas. Change the ideas. Ah, the then you want to quit everything. You want to quit using Photoshop, making photo manipulation, quit photography, quit everything because it's hard. But that's the life. Life is hard. It's not easy all the time. And here is the, the, the milestone, the, the threshold point where you need to find uh, the fuel, the energy to drive you through all these uh, obstacles because otherwise you will just be at the same place all the time. If you just stop on every single obstacle and stay there, you will not get anywhere. So here is a threshold where uh, that divides successful people from not successful people. Because when you just give up when it's hard in life, in, in, in life, photo manipulation is life for me, it's life, when you give up on that, then 
Why doing it at all? Why starting it at all? Why starting if you don't want to finish it? So just invest more time. No problem. If you don't have time that day, all right, put it aside, breathe a little bit, go outside, do something else. If you have creative block, no problem at all. Don't stress about that too much. If you don't have some kind of deadlines for clients, then stress a lot. Then I don't know, <laughs> do whatever you want. But uh, I want to say that you need to get over these things. It's not easy always. Sometimes you will get all three photos for photo manipulation like this in five minutes. You will get lucky, no problem. And you will think, oh, that's easy job. I can do that all the time. But no, it's not. Sometimes I, for me, I take two or three or four days to just make one photo manipulation tutorial for you guys. So it's not some small amount of time. It's really a lot of, a lot of times, three, four days. But the point is that you need to be persistent and just go for it if you really wish wish to make anything photo manipulation or i don't know sofa if you're carpenter or whatever just go for it and never give up don't quit just go 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 and eventually you will succeed that's how you succeed succeed in life there is no shortcut for that okay so the point is how to find photos for photo manipulation just by be being persistent searching on many places and if you cannot find proper photos then just change the idea there is really tricky part for example i have a model i have really cool photo of a model but i i don't have a background i want to put that model on a background and i was in exactly the same situation last week when i did that photo manipulation of lara croft the girl with bow and arrow in a forest so my initial idea was a little bit different. I had a photo of a model, the full body portion, and I had a background in my mind, and I took a photo of the girl to match that background, but later I didn't like the background, so I didn't spend enough time researching the proper background, so I, did a, I made a mistake. And then I'd want to change the background, but it's really hard. It was really hard to find the proper background with the same lighting conditions like the model had, and the same perspective, same everything. And I took one whole day and a little bit of the next day to find a proper background and I didn't manage to do it on free stock websites and even on some paid stock websites. So I needed to give up of that portion of the idea, but I didn't quit. I made something else. I did a crop version of that and I still made a photo manipulation tutorial for you guys. And it was really fun photo manipulation. Check it out if you didn't. So the point here of this little speech of mine today is how to find the proper photos. Well, by being persistent, by never giving up, by searching for them and investing time. You cannot just find it for one minute. Just go. This is not easy process of making photo manipulation in 10 minutes or one hour. This is nothing. This is so, so small amount of time you need to invest day two three five two weeks depends on what how complex your project is and what you want to achieve but remember that one hour for photo manipulation it's really small amount of time so don't stress if you're doing it much much more so be persistent if you cannot find the proper photos just change the idea don't give, don't give up of making photo manipulation change the idea and practice uh, thinking about new ideas Train your brain to do that. And then again, go and search for photos, search for photos, search for photos. So that's it. Never ever give up of the things that you're doing if you want to be success successful. If you don't want to be successful, then you're probably not uh, still on this part of the video. You, you quit it in a few first, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. That's it, guys. If you have any kind of questions regarding to this topic, please let me know down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Also, I would love to hear from you guys. How much time do you spend searching for photos? Because this is, as I already said at the beginning, probably the most asked question from you guys, uh, how to find proper photos and where to find them. I already told you everything. Rewind the episode, uh, play it again and hear it again. And one more time, never ever give up. See you guys next week. Bye bye.